I'm just constantly just trying to vary it as I come down. But I want to get it. I'm going to get it a bit darker by the path. So I can just switch back to the uh, card and just, just scrape in a few little stones just to make that path really stick out. Maybe just flick up a few bits of grass as well. I'm going to do the same on the other side. That in plenty of variation in that in the grassy areas. Darken up that path side a little bit so then I can go back in with me with me card. A few little stripes there and there just to really bring that path out. I mean it's not there in the actual scene but it doesn't really matter. So that's that done. I'll just cover that up a little bit. A few little dibs and dabs there, things growing. Growing on the grass. A little bit on this side. It's just a little bit of a bit of pain grow just to darken it up. So that's that. There's our little bench by the uh, by those trees. Now in the foreground there there's a big so I'm just going to dip the tip in just to bring the ears back together. And I'm going to go really dark now. Burnt umber, ultramarine, and then I'm going to put in this big foreground tree. So it's starting off about there, yeah? big thick trunk, and then it sort of swings round like that. And there's another, another one that sort of goes up and gets lost somewhere up there there's a big bit that comes around and goes up the other side and that swivels up there and there's another limb that comes off this side and there's quite a few going up there switch to the rigger it's that dark mix and then you just add a few more a few more little twigs and branches coming off it and then to put on the foliage all the uh, the green leaves I'm going to clean the brush. In fact, I'm just going to wet this up so I've got something to work with. Make sure that lemon yellow and pain's grey is nice and wet. Then I'm going to clean the brush. Dry it. Dry it on the towel. Scuff it up. So there's airs going all over the place. In every direction. And then just dip it into the lemon yellow, pine's grey and we can just start to add start to add some leaves on this thing but just very light touch make sure the brush is nice and dry before, we, and then just dip it into the pines just the very tips but leave plenty of the background showing through. So 
bring that right over. Nice dry brush, because if it's too wet, it'll just splodge it on and you will, you'll just cover it up, paper up completely and get a bit disappointed. I think that's enough for now. I'm just going to do something on this bit there. There may be a, it's such a light red just to warm up that bottom area. Bits of grass growing and whatnot. I think I'm going to leave it, leave it at that before I start to ruin it. So there's our finished painting, and you can see I've changed it a little bit. I've tried to make a see that you can see how the path definitely helps with the composition. You can see the start of the path there. I mean, okay, it doesn't go off there into the distance, but it we've always got license to do what we need to do to make it, the scene better. And I've just changed the. Uh, What have I changed? Just change the colours on the ground just to try and make it more interesting. You can see how you can see all the, the, the greens and the yellows, but by adding all the uh, bit more sort of the reds and browns it just sort of brings it out a bit more. The stones on the edge of the path always help bring out the path, make it more defined. Remember how simply the, the, the table and those two Benches either side will put in with the card, but it just helps add a bit of interest to the scene. And then our big dark tree in the foreground just helps create, just helps with the depth, pushing the rest of the, uh, pushing everything else into the background. And just remember to ground it, stick a few dark tree, dark, dark uh, grasses and whatnot. Helps create, sort of helps create sort of automatic shadows as well.